What's up guys? We got some pretty big changes in the raid clan scene today. Nani? There's definitely going to be some drama around it all week. I've been bombarded with questions and clan invites since yesterday. And I think many parties involved in this, they are not even exactly sure what's gonna happen because people from the like the same sides have different um different perspectives on the thing but basically what happened today or I mean it was decided before but today it finally happened that uh, as you can see I'm not in MAD anymore but a uh, bunch of ET top accounts like the big boys, whales, krakens, however you want to put it the big boy accounts join MAD and they're gonna try to do better on Hydro CVC and normal CVC and basically dominate the other aspects of clan scene, not just arena. And I think there was around 20 or so ET people joining MAD. And that also meant that a lot of people were left out from the current MAD, including me personally, who has been in the clan for a long time. So it was a little bit sad. But we have been talking about this for a long time. There has been many other proposals as well than this, like starting from like end of last year or beginning of this year. So I kind of was expecting and saw this coming. And I definitely agree that if the focus is Hydra CVC and normal CVC, I obviously don't have the means and not even the interest to um, to do trillions of damage in Hydra CVC. So if they want to be the undisputed rank 1 on that aspect of the game, I'm obviously gonna be a liability. So I don't have too big hard feelings about it. It's a little bit sad not to be in the clan that I was in so long time. I did, um, well there was a bunch of other proposals as well, but I did um, ask why don't we make a third free-to-play clan. I don't think that's the... like they don't want to do that, so they're just gonna go hard with two top clans. And that means that I'm out, bunch of other people in MAD are out, and then bunch of ET clans are out. I mean, the what happened with MAD was relatively drama-free. I mean, there was basically no drama, but of course a little bit melancholy, but I've been talking to many different people from different ET clans and from MAD and I know my own discussions and so on. But so some people have been thinking that ET and MAD are going to merge. That's what I saw some GNL people saying in official Discord. It's not exactly a merge. Some of the top ET guys are going to join MAD and e what happens with ET is kind of Un, um, undecided right now. I think some people in ET think that it's gonna be like exist and be friendly with MAD but not part of the same clan. And some people think that it's gonna disband. I I've heard some people say that um, like ET2 is gonna join CHQ and ET1 is gonna disband. Then some other people are saying that everything is gonna stay normal and they're just gonna recruit more people. The MAD players that weren't part of the new MAD, they were invited to join ET1, me included. That's that's an option, but some of the other people in ET, they don't think the ET1 is even gonna exist. It's gonna be a big drama. I don't think anybody really knows what's gonna happen, but definitely the arena scene in red kind of got a big uh, big shake up today. It's not the first time it happens. There has been a bunch of events like this in the past. Like for instance when ET was created or when MAD was created because both of those clans kind of um, rose ashes rose from the ashes of the old clans like MAD was created from gods and legends players that wanted to make their own clan 
And I think ET was from Tao. SP was from ET. There's a bunch of things I almost forget about the planets that existed five years ago. But that's basically what's gonna happen at this point, or what's happening. Um, I'm getting tons of messages from people in ET and MAD and like other parties, so there might be some different developments in future. Who knows? I'm, some mad people are talking about... Actually, multiple different mad people are floating the idea to make their own clan. Who knows if that's gonna happen? I might make my own clan. I'm kind of undecided what clan I want to join or m make my own one. Honestly, if it was up to me, I mean, I would have wanted to make the free-to-play clan in mad. It's been something that I have been... <laughs> been recommending for many years, but there just doesn't seem to be interest to do it. I might just do it myself, even without MAD, even though that might kind of feel a little bit um, sad since I was in the clan for so many years, but who knows? And at this point, not to brag, but I'm kind of uh, collecting clan invites like Pokemon cards. I think I have soon the Royal Strait Flush, pretty much the only clans that didn't invite me to join, at least for now, is gonna be IPR and GNL. I'm not really gonna, um, gonna hold on the possibility of getting invited to GNL, because those guys have been my unofficial um, hate clan for a long time. They have some people that are super obsessed about me, anyway. M maybe maybe I'll get some contact from IPR, who knows, but I'm honestly undecided. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of curious what you guys think about this, like, it's some um, mega whales, like, uh, first world problems that doesn't involve you, you don't care, maybe it's interesting news and we're getting some drama in raid. What do you think about it? Should I make my own clan? It does seem like a lot of work. <laughs> Honestly, that's the biggest deterrence for me in making my own clan. I mean, apart from can we get a good roster? But it would be would be a lot of effort. But that's kind of what I'm thinking about. It's something that I have been thinking for years. That's why I've been asking Matt to make a third clan and so on. But I might do that. I might join another cluster, I might make my own clan in another cluster. I think actually, I'm not gonna say which cluster, but some cluster, um, no, actually two clusters were floating that idea. And I even got got a personal invite from Panda, which is funny. I don't know how serious he was about it, but even Panda invited me to join his clan, so that's nice, I guess. But yeah, that's where we're at. I definitely don't want to join a clan where there is a big um, push for CVC and Hydra CVC. I don't want to let them down. I don't want to feel pressure to do it. I want to have fun and play the game. I'd rather um, do Auto Hydra than Manual it every week. But I still care about Arena and I'm still um, waiting for my opportunity like I had back in the day, that there is some kind of meta where I have the pieces of puzzle to compete and I might go for the rank 1 trophy again. I know many people think that that's, that's crazy, that's never gonna happen. I think uh, I have proved those people wrong in the past. I don't think I can prove them wrong right now, but the hope lives on and I'm always looking for the opportunity to compete in arena again. We'll see about that. But yeah, that's basically what's going on right now. A chapter in my raid story has kind of ended. A little bit sad. We will see if there will be a redemption arc or will there be a villain arc. Who knows what's gonna happen, but, but if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. That's it. Have a nice day. Chini out. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.